<laughs> I don't know, Jim. That's dangerous as fuck. But now that still, if that yellow goes off, this bl blue light in yeah, it'll shut the whole thing off. Don't you think? Yeah. Or yeah. maybe not. Well, if you put on a push button, no? A start button. Uh, yeah. So this is your, this the igniter wire? Yep. That's all it is. That's a glow plug is what it is. It's, a, it's, it's called a glow plug. And what we've done is we bypassed the glow plug to ignite it. We bypassed the motor to the ground. Okay, let's just do it piece by piece with, with wire nuts. That way they, we can show them exactly what we're doing. All right, I'm going to pause this for a minute. All right, this is the board. Ain't very clear, is it? That's what clear as it get. Okay. We're going to remove this board. This is the faulty part on these Remington. Let's just unhook this whole board. Take this all out of the equation. So you're going to eliminate that board? Yep, I'm going to eliminate the board. The $54 part that fails on these heaters. Yep. I don't think this light means that shit. The safety... Well, this is just mainly to test. So if they know it runs without this board... So this is the diagnostics testing. If you can do this board... Okay. All right. Now, what we're going to do is take the red from the motor, peel it back, Now that's the power for the motor. And then the, the black is the power from the switch. It's the power from the switch. Okay. Now we're gonna put this to this. What are those who you putting together? These are the power from this from this switch here. From the from this switch? From the okay. The rocker switch. The rocker switch. That's going right to the motor. To the motor right here. Yep. And then this is the mo this is the wire from the glow plug. The glow plug slash igniter. Cut that off. And we're gonna put we're gonna put that to the same wire so we can power it up like so. Okay. And then the ground is these two right here. This is the ground from the motor. And what we're going to do with the ground is we're just going to tag into it. Into the circuit or just you're going to make your own? Oh, okay, yep. Into the circuit like Peel that. Peel it back. We're going to take the wire from the... And what, which one is that? This what? is the wire from the other side of the glow plug. This is the ground side. Okay. This is the ground side. Now, how did you know the difference of those two? It doesn't make a difference. Okay. It's irrelevant. Now, when we turn this on, we're going to get... Here's the other ground from the motor. This, that's the ground from the motor. The red was the power, remember? Yeah, red was power from the motor, and white's the ground from the motor. Yep. Okay. Now, we're going to take that in to this ground from the switch. Okay. Now, when we plug this in, if we touch this to the power, that's going to go our glow plug. Okay. Now, watch this. You ready? Turn that on. Now watch this. Now see it's gonna the motor's gonna come on, the fan's gonna come on, and then when I touch this on the glow plug. Is it not lighting? No. Oh, my bad. The ground, I'm sorry. I get you touch the other side of the ground. Oh yeah, okay, that's right. Now once it gets going, you can let it up. So that's where you're gonna is that where this this, this switch is gonna come in? Right, push the button. This is gonna be your primer? Yes. It's gonna be the glow plug switch. Yeah. See now she's working like she always did. What can I say? So do it yourself, repair on your ready Remington heater. This is saved you fifty four dollars. Well, emergency. This is mainly for emergency. You're right, right. If you're out in the middle of the dead, out in the middle of the winter somewhere, and you ain't got no heater. Right. You can't get a fifty four dollar box plugged in. Yeah, and you need it done today. 
right, this is today. So we're getting your diesel's truck started, folks. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wire nut and tape all this, Junior. Yeah. I'm actually going to, uh, oh, you know what? I wonder what would happen if we tag this through that ground. Into the circuit? light. Oh, and complete a circuit? I wonder if that would. If I had to put this right. in the ground. This is, all right, now we're hooking up a ground for our uh, igniter switch. It's not an igniter, it's a glow plug. A glow plug. It's a glow plug igniter is what it is. It replaced called. the old spark plugs from the old units, right? Yep. See, the old spark plugs, you couldn't do this because they didn't have no way. They didn't have a spark jumping. These newer systems now, they got that glow plug. Now, see, if I start to do something, plug it in right now and just touch these two wires together, I'm going to get power. What I want to try to do is see if this will work. Okay. See if that can hold the... Well, I'm kind of concerned about plugging. All right, we're recording again. Now you're hooking up the ground side? Yeah, the ground side of the, of the glow plug. To the one part of the push button. It's called a, mo a mo momentary switch. Yeah, you just hold the button until the, you see the flame. Yep, and let go. And then let go. Yep. And this is from... This is from Axman, two dollars and ninety-five cents. But this is not so much to save money. This is for emergency, you know, when you're trying to get something running in Minnesota. Out on the farm, yeah, yeah trying to get your diesel tractor bobcat started. Yeah, an emergency. Like you had. <laughs> that's why. You're... That's exactly yeah. right. All right. Okay. So now, one of us has to hold this and try that. Mm. Oh, why it's plugged? Oh, why it's plugged in? Hmm. Is that well, you or me? Why don't you just get a pair of uh, channel locks? We'll hold it. Yeah, this shouldn't have no current going through it at all, really. I think we hold that with something. Well, what we got to do first off is hold that. Now, see, we want to push down on that to blow it. To blow. You hold that. Jim. All right, now here we go. It's bored out of here. We're going to turn it on the motor with the switch. So that red wire is what? That red wire is the ground. From the motor? Yep. The yep. yellow wire is the ground from the igniter? Yep. The glow plug? We still got a bottom of a rocket switch hooked up this system. That's the turn off once. Shuts down. Now let's turn it back on again. That's your one-on-one on emergency repair on the Remington. Dude, look at it. It's got the hole for the plug ready. Look at that. Wow. They knew this would be a problem, didn't they? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> All right. $2.95. All right, now we're going to do a reassembly. And we added our glow plug push button switch. Momentary switch. And they actually had a cutout almost factory for us. They must have anticipated this was going to be an issue. Now, we don't recommend you doing this unless you're... Somewhat of a savvy electrician, and for emergency purposes only. This could save your life if you need to get something running in the cold. Yep, we recommend you buy the $54 board on eBay. But you know what, until you test it the way we just did here, you don't even know if that board's gonna help you. Right, yeah, we did. We eliminated the motor, we test the motor first, then the igniter, glow plug. Oh, where's the screwdriver going, Jim? Right here. Okay. We'll get that screwed on and come back. Okay, now we got the cover back on. The back plate, and this is just a bunch of screws. And look at, there's our almost look factory push button, huh? Here it is. He's gonna get that set up. And we'll be back for the final test. Okay, we just got it all screwed back together. It's all complete. There's our two dollar Axeman push button low plug. The, here's the starter. We still got the factory starter. Or here we go. 
on. Wow, you got heat, folks. That's a Remington 60,000 BTU. Minus one board. Minus one circuit board. Thanks and good luck.